got ourselves a canoe, bought a 50 horse Johnson, got it mounted up. It's looking like it's gonna be a good day on the water here. We're just about to head down to the boat ramp. I can't imagine a single thing that could go wrong. No oh, good! <laughs> Sank it. Picked ourselves up a 16 foot canoe. Gonna hook up big motor to it. Poor man's speedboat. This is your real first impression, right? I haven't really seen much of it. I just know that you told me that it should work. The motor should mount. I also heard it's the neighbor's boat. Does he know that we're using his boat? Well, it's technically on this side of the property line. Possession is nine thirds of the law or something. So we should be good. So you think uh, Mike Iaconelli uses one of these? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> the Fisher guy. The... Oh. That guy catches the bass. It's kind of in the ground. That's not ideal. Oh, that's nice. Do you think that's excessive wear or do you think it's okay? Probably within spec. See if she's got spark. Oh, oh, yeah, it got me. We got, we got it. <laughs> oh, God. It really got me. I bet it did. We got at least one spark plug working. We didn't test the other ones, but... I don't want to. <laughs> even if it runs on one cylinder, what's one third of 60? 20? It's a decent amount of horsepower. All right, well, that's good. The problem is we don't have a head gasket anymore. It's kind of ruined it when I took the head off. Well, we got to make a custom gasket here. So the method we came up with, I think as we spray paint the head, just give it a little boom. No, no, not there. Up here. That on there. Oh, Whoa. that's how you make a head gasket. Now, the question is, do we leave the paint for sealing capabilities? For sure. I think we just leave it. It'll burn off, right? Looks like a head gasket. All right. Homemade gaskets in place. Turn me over once. Oh my gosh! Boy, she's just billowing smoke. It's like a gunshot went off. Clearly it fired. Ready? Yeah, I got that battery wired and try that. Nothing. I'll try that, man. Starter might have hung. No. Well. No. Back to square one again. We kind of gave up hope on the walleye boat motor we had. Um, it was just looking too rough for us. A lot of electrical issues cylinder issues, mouse nest issues. So hopped on Facebook Marketplace, found a 50 horse Johnson for $50. Now it also doesn't run. It's been sitting about 30 years, but I think it has a heck of a lot better chance at running than that thing ever did. So we're gonna pop this thing open, see if we can't get her fired up and fit her right up on the canoe. Here we go. Nothing. We could very well just have dirty points. All right, yeah, let's, let's tear into there and see where we get at. Oh, remember how that went on there? Nope. All right. We don't have an inch of open <laughs> workspace. <laughs> Just a little bit. We're definitely seeing promising signs. There's a lot of a lot of gross stuff in here. I mean, that bearing got a little bit of noise to it, but it spins. That's what bearings do. So don't really know exactly what we're looking at, but it's dirty, so we're going to clean it, and hopefully that fixes it. Ready? Yeah. That's frustrating. I can see why the Indians just paddled though, because this is a lot more work than the paddling. So what did you figure out? I went in there and we cleaned the points correctly, set the points, and then put a new spacer in here because we thought it might have been shortened out to the casing. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> yes! There's a lot of stuff coming out of the exhaust. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. So, I mean, all we got to do now is run some fuel line to it and hook it up to the canoe and it should be ready to go. Oh. All right, we got the motor hooked up with the water to it, gas line. What else we need? Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping a dream at this point. First see. start of the 50 horsepower Johnson. Three, two, one. Easy, bud. Sounds pretty good for something that hasn't ran in 30 plus years. Why is there some liquid spitting out of the exhaust? Is it water or gas? Taste it. It runs good for having a bad head gasket. It does really run good. Today's a big day. Today's the day. It's gonna be awesome. Did some custom work here to our canoe, made our homemade outriggers, added a little extra flotation to it. And if we get some good runs, we're gonna strip those things away and just go for a full send. You're certified to 
drive one of these things, right? Well, I did just get my boat license a week ago. So if anything, we can at least set the world record for the fastest person to lose their boat license. But we're technically legal, right? We have everything we need. We got a fire extinguisher in the back and then a whistle, which are a little bit hard to get to right now. But besides that, I mean, what else do we need? We'll get some work done here, get it all set up. We're gonna dip into the water. What are you guys doing there? Gonna do some canoeing today. Beautiful day for it. I've done a lot of <laughs> water sports. None that required the boat driver to wear a helmet. I think you got plenty of power there. Well, we dropped her down at the boat ramp and it's floating. I cannot wait <laughs> to see you crack the throttle on this thing. It's going to be wild. That's how you know it's going to be a good day when you put your safety helmet on to go boating. <laughs> I think here you go. It's fired up, man. We don't have a battery on board, so I got to jump Josh every time we get started. So I'm going to go ahead and fire you up here. It's about to get real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you ready? Heck yeah. <laughs> How fast do you think I was going? All right, 30? 40? I don't know, it was plenty. I think that's the only way we can get more speed is by cutting off those pontoons. The tippiness is exponentially worse. <laughs> How do you feel? It's so tippy. Is it? We'll get you turned around here. Oh man, no floats. Oh, oh Josh. Oh no. Still, it still managed without the floats for at least 50 yards. That was hysterical from here. I'm glad I wasn't in the boat. How has nobody else seen them right now? He didn't signal the whistle when you went down. Oh, you're right. That's probably why nobody's coming to help you. He didn't whistle. I mean, that was as successful as it can be right there. Get this thing drained out and it'll live another day. If you like what we're doing, make sure you're subscribed and more projects are coming along the way. Yeah. Oh, there he is, he's thinking of fish. Nuh -uh. no way. Incredible. We'll send him back to his home right here. You don't want to do a catch and cook? I don't know if there's enough for both of us. Ah, I'll send him back. Yeah, put him back in his home.